In the big ghost tank, we'll keep you in the know. In the big ghost tank, we'll fix your techie woes. So we'll break things up, we'll make these till we're all together raking, and we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big ghost tank. In the big ghost tank, come and join our fire crew. In the big ghost tank, we will show you what to do. And we'll hack it till we crack it, and we'll tell the world about it and forget to tidy up. That's why it's now a bilge tank. Hello and welcome to uh, Bilge Tank 110. Just apropos yeah, nothing, very, just thought we'd have one. Very yeah. special Bilge Tank to launch the uh, the new Coke Zero peach flavour. Yep, an update yeah. to an old favourite. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's our news for today, I suppose. Yeah. So yeah. Better get yeah. on with the day. Yeah, see you later, folks. Bye. Okay, bye bye. No, <laughs> it's Pi Day in every sense of the word. Whoops. Yeah. I shouldn't knock the table because that'll. No, don't knock the, the table. Uh, yeah, the Pi 3. B plus the Raspberry Pi 3, three, three model, model B, B plus. plus plus extra bits Tottenham Hotspur nil <laughs> mm -hmm. sorry four ball scores <laughs> okay let's go to the close-up camera and da -da -da. here we go here's the evolution of Pi mm. starting with the 2011 one with C written in a nice serif font and then moving up to the B plus Oops. <laughs> and then we skipped the two and gone straight onto the three there. And now the three plus. Now there's been a few changes here, which we'll go through in a minute. Um, but it does mean we now have a new Pibo, which is compatible with the three and the three plus, but not with the two or earlier. So yeah, but it means you can now. It's actually got holes for standoffs, so you can put standoffs and hats in there. Anyway, let's. Uh, I can grab one actually. Yeah. I've got one here. You've got one. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh. I was just too busy holding up the three. Right. So, what are the what are the main changes? Let's uh, let's go back to the big cam. It's red. No, that's mm. all right. Fancy. There we go. So, what are the big changes here? Um, so, faster processor. Yep. Um, so it's now clocked at one point four gigahertz. Um, the Pi three was one point two. Um, still quad core, sixty four bit, obviously. Uh huh. Um, the reason that they can do that is because the new system on chip on the on the three B plus has um, better thermal performance. Um, so there's you might see there's a kind of metal cap on the top of it. Yep. Um, essentially inside that, um, or underneath that, the whole of the the chip is actually kind of um, turned upside down almost. If you if you yeah. look inside. So it's, it's a bit like the Wi Fi yeah. the power regulator chip was bare. This is like chip on die, isn't it? Or die on board, yep, yep. chip on board, whatever so, they call it. So essentially you've got the Pi PCB, you've got like a little square PCB that's the same kind of like dimensions as the yeah. the metal can we're, on we're, top. We're going to show that anyway, um, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to show yeah. it. And then there's the, the silicon die in the middle of that and then the cap on top. So that's the processor, um, but that's not the yeah. kind of biggest change. Although it's a nice silver colour now, which makes it immediately identifiable. What, what's next? Um, go on, Tanya. Yeah, go on. Do the Wi-Fi. The new pins. I want to do the pins. <laughs> I'll do the pins. I do, do the, the pins because these are the bane of the it's life kind of when we related. were doing the Pibo. Yeah. yeah. These things, these things, never used to be there. Yeah. And they are Popins. 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 Mary Popins. Mary Popins. Mary Popins. Popins. Yeah. They are power over internet pins. Yeah. Ethernet. Ethernet. Power over Ethernet. Otherwise, it'd be Poi pins, and that would be wrong. Sorry. Yeah. Poi, Poi. Spinning fire and things. Yes. Anyway, yeah. Anyway. So there's going to be an official power over Ethernet adapter now for the Pi 3B Plus to make it all industrial-like and useful in remote situations. So word has it that this is going to be a hat that plugs on yeah. um, and has the kind of extra an extra header for those pins. Yep. Um, and then we presume that it's going to have an Ethernet jack on it. You can just plug a, a cable into and get power and networking over the same cable. Yep. Um, so that's going to be ideal for kind of like rack-mounted kind of like almost um, kind of industrial scale clusters and networks and things like that. Um, yep. Which leads us segue ne neatly to the chip underneath those four pins. Now that's the that's a big change there. It's now got the microchip logo and that's the first time that chip has changed in a long yeah. time. So it's a different manufacturer. The previous one was SMSC. Yep. Um, I believe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, microchip. Yeah, it's actually it's a it's a gigabit um, Ethernet chip, um, well Ethernet and USB two. Um, oh, yeah. 
but because it's run over USB 2, it's limited to a speed of the the foundation are quoting 300 megabits a second. Yeah, um, around 300 megabits a second. Um, before the LAN ran about, it was 100 megabits, but it ran about 70, 80 megabits a second yep. in actual performance. Yeah. So that's like, what, a, a three and a bit times performance? I think USB 2 speed is actually 480 megabit, yeah. I want to say. But TCP IP is um, just... But it's probably going to, yeah, because it's all through the same bus, it's probably going to be a bit lower than that. So yep. I think 300 is the figure they're quoting. Yeah, um, your your mileage may vary, but it's, uh, it's kind of uh, much better. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it should like... be significantly <clears throat> Like in, at least three times faster than the Pi 3. Yeah, um, in terms of the biggest change, I think that's the one that's kind of making a big difference to a lot of things. Yeah. Cool. And then let's go to the wireless. The wireless now comes inside a cam. So they've, they've stuck a cheeky little embossed Raspberry Pi logo there. So the Pi logo is three times on this board now. So it's the threes everywhere. But that covers, that covers the uh, chipset, which is now a Cypress chipset, and it's dual band. So yep. two point four gigahertz and five gigahertz. And eight oh two eleven AC now rather yep. than eight oh two eleven N, which the previous one was. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I think the combination of those two things should mean that it's a lot faster as well. The wireless. Cool. Um, there's also a better antenna now. Um, it's the yeah. same antenna technology that's on the zero W. Um, so that's the PCB antenna. So this is a. Uh, um, a cunning bit of technology <laughs> from Proant. Um, that little yeah. triangle there that I'm trying to get in the view, but yeah. Yeah. failing. So they had, they had the chip antenna before, but then they released the Pi Zero, and for budget reasons they had to go for the PCB antenna and get clever. And then they found the performance that actually a well-designed PCB antenna, mm. the performance was just great. Yep. So they, they've obviously decided to roll it out for the Pi yeah. 3B+. Plus. Mm. Yeah. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I was reading about it, and apparently what it is is it's... Um, essentially a cavity through the ground plane of the board mm-hmm. um, and it's, because it's in a triangular shape um, essentially the radio waves that come in resonate in that cavity and then kind of get focused down to the end of the triangle and that's where you um, get your gain and, and that's where it's all kind of like received mm-hmm. by the by the <coughs> circuitry um, yeah it's very cunning otherwise it's kind of everything else is apart from everything changing everything is the same <laughs> yeah, yeah. The form factor's the same, just, yeah. yeah. A few components moved here and there. Yeah, two side by side. Yeah. Ooh, Sweet. No, actually, it's going to have to go that way. Cool. Sorry. Right, let's uh, let's do the autopsy. Let's go full close-up. Um, and do you want to make the... Uh... Make the magic. So then, that's the little... That's the water. Yeah. That's the, T. that's the wrong way. That's the badger. Is that close enough, or do you want closer? That should be close enough, yeah. yeah. Well, let's put it down that corner then. Okay, so here's one we pulled apart earlier. Basically, <coughs> Sandy and Nico went a bit kind of uh, Michael Myers on it. And there is a blog post up now, isn't there? Yep. On blog.pimeroni.com. Yep. yep. Where you do this in much higher quality with the microscope and everything. But we're going to do the quick version here. Uh, let's flip off that Wi Fi can. What are you doing? You that? say can, that. Can we look at your nails? You, you've nails. got special nails for today, haven't you? I, I did my nails for today. Yeah. Um, I'm still learning, but I did. Can we get the tablet up? Is that... Pi nails. No, we can't, can't. No, we can't. Oh, what? <laughs> we can show it on <laughs> no, the camera. No, we haven't got the tablet. So, I have managed to get the uh, Wi-Fi can off now. Cool. There you go. There we go. There's the chip. And you can see a little bale in there. Top left of the footprint. That looks like a kind of... Mm, Radio Balaam, which does magic things to make it kind of very frequency discriminating. Yep. And yeah. So that's that's what the antenna feeds into. Yeah. Um, well, the signal from the antenna kind yep. of feeds through that. Cool. Um, and then the the shiny bit in the middle is the silicon die of the. Um, yeah. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. Uh, the wife <laughs> the Wi-Fi chip. That's useful. Yeah, um, you can't get that close. I'm going to see how close I can get. There we go. That's close enough. Cool. Yeah, so another reason to have the can tender in there is so this is not susceptible to the uh, photoelectric effect. Because, yeah, there was a yep. fun time killing that back in the Pi mm. 2 days. Yep. And it kind of oh. pro- protects against interference um, both from the the Wi Fi signals coming in and going out. Um, mm. And obviously, any stray kind of interference from the rest of the board as well is kind of. 
protected by that can on top. Sweet. Mm. Okay, let's pull off the top of that chip in the middle. Yeah, that's there again, that's a heat spreader, isn't it? If you look on the yeah. bottom of that, there is a bit of uh, thermal compound as well. Yeah, there, there was a lot more in there, but I kind of scraped it off to take some photos and stuff. Yeah. Um, there was a big lump of it right on top of the silicon die. Cool. Um, and then right the outside, there was kind of like a little ring of adhesive. Um, it was actually really hard to to get the oh, whole that, thing that off and kind of like get it apart. It was, um, yeah. Very, very tricky. So this is part of the improved thermal performance, but it doesn't mean that a heat sink doesn't still help, because then you've got that can on top, which helps get rid of the heat from the chip, allowing it to run faster. But then putting a heat sink on top will add surface area mass yep. and give you a little more headroom when yep. you're running it hard. Yeah, the main thing that the metal shielding does is kind of like dissipates the heat. Um, so rather than um, the previous one was like the um, it, it was kind of encased in plastic, the silicon die. Yep. Um, and obviously plastic is not nearly as good a um, mm. conductor as metal is. Um, so the metal, you, you know, if go. one area of the die gets really hot, then the metal is going to spread that heat right out and kind of dissipate yeah. uh, across the hole. For on the thermal camera, you could see the hot spot where kind of the GPU was yep. and where the CPU uh, yep. Yep. was. Is. Were. Was. Is was. <laughs> is was. Yeah. So then we've got the, again, the bare die, which is the silverish reflective thing in the middle. Yep. And if you flip that over, that's got loads of interesting stuff on it. Oh, again, check out fun. the blog post for good um, yep. microscope images of that. Yeah, not, not Tanya's hands getting in the way. There we go. Get that that way. Um, so actually, when I was, um, when I took this apart, I um, kind of pried the, the metal off the top. Yep. Um, with a kind of sharp um, kind of implement, uh, so I pried that off, and it popped off fairly easily. Yep. Um, and then I desoldered the carrier PCB, which is the the kind of dark green bit that you can see there. Um, okay. Yep. Desoldered that, and then took the die off that. <laughs> and actually, when I was removing that, it took the top layer of the PCB off. So that's why you can see the middle of it's kind of a uh, coppery colour. Okay. And um, that's the copper under the top layer of PCB material, yeah. which is still stuck to the back of the die. You can see it's kind of green, <laughs> on, the, green on the back. Um, yeah, so interesting stuff going on there. On that carry PCB, you can see some very small resistors and cap, caps. Yeah. Possibly just caps. Some of them fell off, yeah. actually, when I was desoldering it. Yeah. Um, you were pretty brutal yeah, for well, a delicate... Oh, I had to blast it with a hot air gun at, up, up at full for about... I think two minutes or something like that, just to heat the whole board up and get it hot enough to actually desolder it. So it was incredible. Yeah. Um, but I guess it's designed to cope with heat well, um, so yeah, that's why it's hard to get it off. When it's falling apart. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, I think we've covered everything there. I well, say you, you can, want to lift you the... can actually lift this oh, off yeah, as yeah. well, the carrier. Yeah. Yep. And then try zooming in a bit closer. I will try my that's... best. Hang on. Yeah, we're very close to the limit of this uh, camcorder, unfortunately. Oh. 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 No, and, uh, oh. I'll, I'll try and hold it up. Oh, there we go. That's that's better. Yeah, it's it's just the optical limit of it. Mm. I'll say, look at the blog post. It encourages yeah. people to do do a little reading. Yeah. So that's a type of soldering called, called BGA or ball grid array, um, which is basically tiny yeah, little money. tiny little balls of solder um, mm -hmm. that are used to kind of solder underneath the chip. Um, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think we've tested all the hats work. Um, for the rainbow hat, you will need to use standoffs to make sure it clears the POE pins. But otherwise, all the hats are fine. Yeah. Um, shims. If you're installing our shims, so the wide input shim, the lipo shim, the soon to be released lipo charge shim, then you'll need to make sure you put a little bit of captan tape or insulating tape between the can of the Wi Fi just yeah. to make sure there's clearance and no electrical contact there. Yeah. Otherwise, we've found everything seems fine. Um, and, yeah, as soon as we download the new Raspbian, Phil will be there trying to fix all the libraries <laughs> yeah. to see if new pixels have broken again. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. going yeah, to get access at the same time that everyone else does. To I think so, yeah. 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 Good times. Mm, yeah. Uh, anything else we can think of? I don't think so. I think the... I guess the f in, in terms of what we're selling, um, there's the, the Pi itself, yep. um, the upgraded Pi bows. Um, so we've got in the coupe we've got um, red ninja 
Flotilla and Royale, which is the blue and purple. 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 Yep. Um, and then in the full size one, we've got the Rainbow and the Ninja. Um, yep. yep. And, and they're oh. backwards compatible as well. So if you get a new Pi boat, it will fit your old Pi 3. Yep. And not the Pi 2 or the B. Plus. We couldn't go that far back. No. Too many components had changed around. <laughs> Started looking even more like yeah. Swiss cheese. Yeah. Yeah, the Pi yeah. <laughs> 2 ball fit in it. But, um, no. Not comfortably. It does. I, ch- I checked it. Really? Yeah, I checked it last night. It does. Okay, it, yeah. it'll be Boeing somewhere. Honestly, that'll be a fortuitous not, thing. But it's fine. It is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> officially, officially not Pi Two. I checked and double checked, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, with the POE pins, if you uh, the foundation have said if if your has the ten millimeters clearance, then it will clear those pins. Yeah, that's that's in spec. Um, our boards, we do allow them to go closer if you're on a slimmer pie, but now. I say it's fine with everything. It does get close, but the rainbow hat's the only one we've seen where those standoffs are needed. Yeah. But I think we supply them anyway, so that's all okay. Um, I think as well, it's a new launch, so supplies are going to be limited for a while while production ramps up. So get it quickly now from us or from many of the other fine retailers around the internet. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, our kits are upgraded as well. Yep. So oh, yeah. The starter kit, the Raspberry Pi starter kit. Yep. And um, that's got the three V plus on it now. Yeah. The new Pi bow. And the essentials kit. And um, the essentials kit as well. Yes. Upgraded. So if you get those, it will be the new thing. Uh, Pi three is basically dead to us now. We have some useful workshops and things now. Mm. They become our workshop stuff. Mm-hmm. Les says yeah. new Raspbian's life. Woo! Yep. Cool. Right. Cool. That's so all noobs sorted. cards. <laughs> yeah. All noobs <laughs> cards from today will be Raspbian two point five then. Fantastic. Okay, folks, in that case, I think that's all we need to say for today. We'll uh, leave you to ask questions on the internet and squee about it. Yeah. Um, somebody's saying, how about a giveaway? Ooh. Right. <clears throat> and faces are like this. I can't yeah. make this decision, so I'm just going to sit back. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is going to be to win a new Pi 3B Plus in a Pi Bow. Then all you need to do is in the YouTube chat, we want the first person to answer. Uh, what fruit flavour of Coke Zero do we have on the table in front of us? I'm nosy in there. And now I've got 30 seconds delay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the point. <laughs> but we'll see. This is going to be fun. It's going to be... Woo. Did yeah. you see- did you hide it? Did you hide it? No, not nearly no, in time. He does enough flavour. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go, Yay! Alex Smith. You is Tay winner. Get in touch with Paul at Pimeroni.com and say, I won on YouTube, and we will send you your new prize in one of the colours we mentioned of your choice. Oh, look at that. He was way ahead as well. I'm way ahead. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, um, this What's... was this was due to Amazon Prime now. Oh, we, uh, we were setting up the bilge tank last night for a ninja bilge tank, mm. and there were no cables, so Tanya said, yeah, how about Prime now? They deliver until 10pm. So I got the cables for the cameras, but still had to make up the value, and they had Peach <laughs> Coke Zero. So we have... Phil's desk isn't Phil's desk anymore. It's a mounting of Coke. It's it's a now a Coke mountain, yeah. Which is what Phil's going to need today to get his coding done <laughs> to update the library. <laughs> <laughs> so, well done, Alex. Hola. And... Hola. Yeah, go onto our Discord channel to chat through the new Pi, yep. which is linked somewhere. We should probably start linking it on the... Uh... If you go to yep. our About Us page, I think, from the shop, um, I think there's a link in there. Yeah, so um, chat on Discord. Or, or the Contact Us page or somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool, fantastic. Right, in the meantime, uh, keep subscribing, even though we've not been bulk stacking forever. Yeah. But now, now we've got the setup here, we might yeah. just continue what, like... doing it. Tiny little build tanks. Informal. Yeah. yeah. This is the creative room behind <laughs> yeah. us, by the way. This is where... Yeah, this is our office. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. No, you know what? We're extending this build tank. I right. thought of something to talk about. <laughs> yeah. So why, why has build tank been gone for so long? Um, the short of it is we keep growing and expanding, and we've now utterly filled this building to the point where we needed to demolish the build tank to get space. Um, we now have a second site, so we have a second ship of the line, called Universe Works, which is only about 500 metres away. Um, and that's currently being kind of painted, the electrics put in, 
all the windows and alarm system and internet of course um, once that's put in then kind of all the shipping post and warehouse stuff is going to split off and start their own rebel faction over there with the manufacturing and design and development staying over here so once that's done then we'll have room to set up a permanent bilge tank again maybe have a little bit of a hack space you know ponies yeah. helicopters i missed bilge tank so i made made my own yeah. version of it it's, it's got boids it's got the bird. It's got the birds. It's got all the octopus. The things. The porthole. Like last time. What, what's that? That's that's Pim. He's a vark. Rat vark. He he appeared yesterday to become a new deck hand. Yeah. So he may may appear in things. We didn't use your cardboard bill shank. Now I feel guilty. No. Well, I've got it in anyway. So no. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Thanks for tuning in, folks, and get your new Pi Three B Plus. We're just calling it the Three Plus mainly because we haven't seen an A. For a while, we'd love to have a Model 3A, but we haven't seen one, so we're calling it a 3 Plus mm. until you know. Hopefully, we can go to the foundation into releasing a new Model A because a Model A without the USB and the Ethernet, but or, with the Wi Fi Model C, yeah. Model C, nah. be they don't do Model factor. C's. No, there will be anyway. <laughs> this, this is our hardware release for a while, so yeah, yeah. a word yeah. of refinement. Cool, take care, folks. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> ah. here. Take, take two. It's been a while.